On the southern coast of Taiwan, a group of recruits are fighting to join one of the Navy's toughest units. The Marine Amphibious Recon, known as the Frogman. But before they earn this badge of honor, recruits must first endure 10 weeks of training. Oh, it climaxes with Hell Week. Six days of non-stop punishment. It's a brutal selection course where almost one third will fail. And only the best will make the cut. Taiwan's Marine Amphibious Recon Unit are trained to approach from the ocean, gather intelligence, and hit the enemy hard. Our mission is to be the first line of defense. We are like the first line of defense. They can operate on sea, air, and land. We are trying to do some high-value strategic objectives to make a strike. But their main role is to clear the way for large amphibious assaults. 乘坐的一个载具一般是橡皮艇，都是用利用动力操作，就是外加弦外机，然后再配合你的 GPS 来做海上的导航，来到达你要的一个位置。This unique unit was born from conflict. As the Chinese Civil War was brought to an end in 1949, the nationalist forces of the Republic of China retreated to Taiwan. A special elite force was needed to keep both Taiwan's shores safe and have the ability to probe into China's coastline. In 1955, the Amphibious Reconnaissance Unit was born. The first batch of 22 frogmen passed the selection and formed Taiwan's first marine amphibious recon unit. I was in the国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的国内的
Those that survive will earn the coveted Marines Amphibious Reconnaissance Unit badge. 两栖征收大队备章潜水员的部分表示，我们具备了两栖征收作战的能力。那降落伞的部分是我们具备了空降的作战能力。6 a.m. call time. Next, they have to pass a swimming test before embarking on Hell Week, the final and hardest week of training. These men have already completed nine weeks of training, and they are about to begin their final swimming test. First, recruits have to perform a set of warming exercises known as the Frogmen Workout. 我们在任务前，原本做的蛙操会有二十六节，我们会取前段十节，让他们做暖身、跪卧挺腹、腿部运动，几乎都是强迫拉筋的动作，不至于在水上会抽筋。In combat, these men could spend hours in water. Their bodies need to be as highly tuned as professional gymnasts, keeping the joints and muscles stretched and flexible. But recruit Xu Cheng Hung's body isn't doing what he wants it to. This is already his second try at the course. 上次受训也是因为受伤，伤势的问题退训。那这次的话，又面又面临到一样的问题，所以我现在的想法是更坚决。After the warm-up, it's time for a 50-meter swim. But the recruits will have their feet and hands tied. It's a kind of self-defense. If you're hurt, you're hurt, you're hurt, you're hurt. We'll let the students get to the point of self-defense. The water is 20 degrees. We'll use water is 20 degrees. Yes, it's very cold. It's very cold. Because this is down below the water. It's very cold. First up is recruit Gao Inche. And to make things more difficult, they can't touch the bottom. 毕竟如果在渡河或者是是在在大海里是不可能会有可以让他点地的，所以基本上是尽量不要点地，这是最好的。这个顶多在吸第二口气，他就不吸。拉起来。海口埋太久了。其实，在有的那个过程中，因为它只有脚的脚的在运用，所以我们在有的那个感觉就是会少一份的那种动力。The cold is beginning to affect the recruits as they start the next challenge: swimming the same 50 meters underwater without coming up for air. 从事作战的时候，如果有遇到有水。的地形，我们可能要进行这个无声的渗透，或者是要脱逃，就必须要用到平潜。The recruits will have to hold their breath for about 40 seconds to make it to the end of the pool. 还是太快了。The recruits are struggling to make it. 哎，你在干什么啊？ Next up is Xu Jiang Hug. 只要关于脚步的动作的话，其实都会影响到那个疼痛。He takes his last breath and pushes off. Recruit Chu Chang Hung. This test will be his last. Ah, this is a. Very sad. You just only lost 15 meters. And with it, his dream of becoming a frogman. After nine weeks training, only 14 men are left. It's time to really test what these soldiers are made of. 
The last week is the week they have been dreading. Hell Week. Fourteen recruits are in their final phase to join Taiwan's elite Marine Amphibious Recon Unit. After nine weeks of training, these men face their worst fear. Hell Week. Six days and five nights where they will be forced to undergo continuous exercise. Modeled on the U.S. Navy SEALs training, this week includes a series of 21 separate tests. It's the final challenge that stands between them and their frogman badge. Kernan 4 hell week starts instructors burn incense a ceremony to ask the gods for protection the whole camp attends woman的训练在很多方面都是具有很多为安因素在我们教官和助教来控制这些为安因素那一些比较突发的状况或者是 this week, the recruits need any help they can get. Just when they thought they could get some rest, it is a cold wake up call. From now on, they face challenge after challenge. First up, a 25-kilometer run. With an injured knee, recruit Leo Taiyu is under the gun. With continuous physical exercise, injuries are the main reason for recruits to drop out during Hell Week. And lower limb injuries are the most common. A few kilometers in, and Liu Taiyu can't keep up. His knee joint is hurt, and he has to get in the ambulance. He hasn't finished the run, but instructors let him stay. They get one hour of rest. Then wake to bad news. Because I've met the most 
，啊、然后在泼水那一刻很冷，非常冷。Their next challenge: paddle their rubber dinghies for a distance of 15 kilometers in two hours, and then march them back again. Dinghies are the main method of transport used by frogmen, but to move the dinghy in the right direction and propel it through the water takes a lot of effort. This class' skill is in the cooperation of the team. Recruits are divided into two teams of seven. Each team has a leader at the back of the dinghy shouting directions. But once offshore, the sea becomes rough. Recruit Lin Yihang is the first to get seasick. But even with one member paddling slower, team number two has better teamwork and manages to stay ahead. They are the first to arrive to the finish line. Now they will have to bring back their rubber dinghies to the camp. Over their head for 15 kilometers. Each of these rubber dinghies weighs more than 250 kilograms. Leadership is key to succeeding. Team captain in this is the leader's role. It's the soul of the boat, the soul of the leader, who controls the boat. Three, two, one. The boat is heaviest at the front. The leader needs to keep it balanced, or some recruits could end up carrying double the weight of others. Recruits Sun Xia Jun and Lia Taiyu have leg injuries. The team leader puts them at the back, hoping they will have less weight. 其中有一艇有人受伤，或者是不行，扣一分。那一艘艇只要超过五个人，就代表不合格。The hill is too much for recruit Leo Taiyu. His knee is swollen and in pain. Yeah,你看他连普通走路都这样一坡，那有没有用啊？你看走路都用跳的了，韧带发炎，然后膝盖这边哦有积水，就是只要是长跑。上下坡就会有这个问题，长期就会有这个问题。只是一开始没那么严重，啊，后来就是持续这样大量运动，就越来越严重。He wants to continue. 好了，你不要撑了，你不要撑，你上车，你上车，上车。Recruit Leo Taiyu gets a free ride to camp, while the others run the final two kilometers. All the recruits have passed the test. But Hellwood is just about to get harder. It's day two of Hellwood. The final week of training for Taiwan's amphibious marine recon unit. The recruit's next challenge is a three-hour ocean swim. This class' purpose is to train the recruits so that they can do the swim for a long period of time in the ocean. In this aspect, we train the recruits so that they can do the swim for three hours and they can swim for three hours. The recruits can swim for three hours and they can swim for three hours. The recruits can swim for three hours. 
Safety is important for this test. These men are exhausted and could easily drown at sea. The instructors remain close, and each man has a luminous baton on their head. It's a cold 17 degrees. Recruit Leo Taiyu is suffering more than others. He has swelling on his knee, and the cold water is increasing his pain. He has to rely on his arms to keep his body afloat and finish the exercise. He is the first recruit in Hell Week to ring the bell. This bell is taken to all of the 21 exercises the recruits have to pass for Hell Week. For recruit Leo Taiyu, it's the end of the road. For the 13 remaining, they are one man short for the rest of Hell Week. The first challenge of the day is dinghy training. Two teams will practice flipping their rubber dinghies. In battle, these men will have to flip them in order to hide from enemy air activity. With one member less, team number one is feeling the pressure. But team number two is having issues of its own. The two teams are competing to be first. They first have to paddle it around the harbor. The paddles are collected. Then all the two men jump out and flip the dinghy. Then two from the other side jump on and flip it back. They have to rely on teamwork or they will fail. Even with one recruit less, team number one makes it back to the shore first. And those that failed get punished. Recon style. Next is a deep diving exercise that strikes fear among all recon recruits. These recruits will have to dive six meters and bring back a handful of sand. It's a difficult dive, but one the instructors can monitor. Oh, 
上次做的时候不是做的很顺利，因为做完第一次前的时候，那个要做排压动作没没排好。If they do not decompress well today, recruits only risk a headache. But with deeper depths, such an error could cost them their lives. Some students are nervous, or when they can't breathe, it can cause a headache or a headache. Recruit Pen Chingche has a fever, and this might threaten even more than just his results. He's been given the all clear. Their next test is a swim at sea with their rucksacks and rifles for two hours. It simulates the men having to swim ashore from a capsized dinghy. The two teams have to move together, and leaders have to make sure no one remains behind. When the captain is not there, the rest of the team will have to be the most vulnerable. If the captain is there, the rest of the team will have to be the most vulnerable. If the captain is there, the rest of the team will have to be the most vulnerable. Those that swim faster remain at the back, while the slower ones are put in the front. But recruit Pen Chinche's flu is seriously affecting his speed. That the rowboat captain, he is not strong enough. Then the captain is trying to keep his strength. He says he forgot his other team to take care of him. Then the captain is trying to With no leader, team number one is slowed down and coming late. Recruit Pen Chinche's mistake gets his team slowed down. They're tired and cold. It's day three, and the night brings a small break for all the recruits. Tonight's reflection is the calm before the storm. Thirteen recruits are trying to survive the final 48 hours of Hell Week. If they succeed, they will gain membership to Taiwan's elite frogmen, the Marine Amphibious Reconnaissance Unit. These next two days will be the toughest part of their entire 10-week basic training. Next, another swimming test. The bell is carried to each challenge. Recruits who want to quit have to ring the bell to leave. First, they have to perform basic stretching exercises aimed at preventing cramps when they get into water. Four, four, four. 
Next, they have to swim for four hours using different strokes. This test is not just physical training. In combat, these men might have to swim for hours to reach an objective. The exercise is designed to test their endurance to cold and stress. Just 30 minutes of front crawl swimming and the oldest recruit, Chen Yuqian, begins to experience the first signs of hypothermia. His low body temperature is causing his muscles to shiver without control. <laughs> If the temperature goes below 35, he will need to be hospitalized and will fail the course. The other recruits go on with mask and fin swimming training. But before dawn, there is another casualty. Recruit Xiao Qihong's temperature has drastically dropped. Both recruits are taken off the test. They will have to wait to find out if they have failed the course. The next morning, a run in full battle equipment. For the recruits, there is no rest. From freezing waters to 30 degrees sunshine. Four days into Hell Week, and the pain is beginning to show. Team number two's leader has an injury. His ankle is twisted. He is taken to the hospital for examination, but this error might compromise him joining the frogmen. Next, recruits have to endure a four-hour tactical challenge. For the two recruits who failed the pool test, it's their lucky day. Chen Yuqian and Chao Qiang are readmitted to the course, even when their bodies are struggling to keep going. The men must patrol tactically. When behind enemy lines, hand signals are used to communicate with each other. Noise could give away their position. Recruits have to make sure their movements go undetected. And the instructors are constantly throwing new challenges to test their mental state.
各组各组，我会下一个状况就是说让他们找什么东西。其实没有这个东西，那是让他们知道你可以利用利用这个现地的东西。Team number two completes the test in three hours and gets some rest. But punishment is handed out to those who come in late. It's the fourth night of Hell Week, and once more they will be deprived of sleep. Next test is Wei-Zhuang Shen Tou. The main training is how they perform. 到达我们给他们的指定的目标，然后不要让敌人发现他们。Recruits will patrol along a trail seven kilometers long for four hours. 因为我们的肤色在晚上看起来会特别的明显，所以把他们涂成黑色的或者是绿色的这样子。啊，自己就是要注意一下，不要晃神。现在也真的是晚上了，然后现在又很累，真的会容易很容易晃神。Recruits are equipped with a radio transmitter through which the leader directs the group. Each team has to split up into smaller groups. When you split up, you split up into seven people. Three people, two groups. And then you split up into two groups. Each group covers a different area to make sure the rest of the team can walk through undetected. But the recruits are so exhausted, they start making simple but critical errors. Right now, every error costs them a small physical punishment. But in war, these small mistakes could cost them their lives. Last, the recruits are made to crawl on their haunches with 20 kilograms of equipment weighing them down. Recruit Den Chiming is struggling. With only one day to the end of Hell Week, he might not make the grade. It's the night before the last day of Hell Week, the final week of training to join Taiwan's elite unit, the Marine Amphibious Recon. Recruit Den Chiming has failed the night patrolling test. Instructors give him a last chance. He can stay, but he can't fail another exercise, or he will be out of the course. It is the last day of Hell Week. After just one hour rest, the instructors have prepared an unexpected wake-up call. Tear gas. The men have to pack immediately. But they are too slow, and one recruit bears the brunt. 
。静姐都是因为你啊，王静姐。可是你要问了，我要休息就好了。我没发这种不尊重的，我没发。杨静，赶紧休息好不好？啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊
He has to rely on his determination to get this badge. It's one final test to prove they will do anything to join the Frogman. For recruit Gao Inxie, this day is even more special. The youngest, Ling Yi Hung, has won the best recruit prize. The men have all made the grade and are now frogmen. 